So guys, now let's talk about the code runner extension. And before doing installation and proper setup of code runner extension, let's understand for a minute the need of code runner extension. So let me go and open my functions.py python file. And if you look at in this file, I have a option to run this file. So let me run this file over here. So I got this output in the terminal. It's pretty okay. But let me run this file again. I got two outputs and right now both of these outputs are overlapping with each other kind of a scenario. But now let me go to my other python file execution.py and let me run again. The problem over here which you, you will be noticing that my previous output is not clearing by itself. So to resolve this problem without code runner extension, I need to kill the terminal each time before or after running the code. So that's a kind of a tedious task. So it's better to install a code runner extension. But what happens when I want to run my JavaScript file? I don't even have any option to run my JavaScript file without a code runner extension. Same happens with my TypeScript file. I don't have any option to run in VS code. So to resolve all of these problems, let's go and install code runner extension. So go in the extensions view and type code, give a space and type runner. And you will find this code runner extension provided by Jun Han. Let's install this particular extension. So this extension has been installed. So now let me go to my first JavaScript file. Let's run this. I got a pretty good output. Now go to my TypeScript file and let me run this. I got a pretty good TypeScript file output too. But what happens when I will run my Python file? So let me run this. No, that's a error it has raised. But we can resolve this error, not a problem. Go ahead in the extensions and go in the code runner documentation. Let me remove this and if we'll go down over here and read on this configuration and read this thing. Make sure the executable path of each language is set in the environment variable. So set the Python path in the environment variable. Just go and copy. So I want to set, set the node path and the Python path in my environment variable. So go ahead in the activity bar, go in the manage icon, click it over here, go in the settings or go in this settings, this one open settings JSON. Either do this thing or open your command palette and keyboard shortcut to open your command palette in Windows is Ctrl Shift P in Mac OS keyboard shortcut is command shift p so and type open setting json so it will open a same file but try to use that command palette option so that's a more secure one so if in case if you are having a dot vs code setting dot json file so that that's where a clash might happen when you open a setting dot json file with this approach so now let's go and copy and paste those executor map settings and over here I don't want my PHP over here let me remove this and I did not copy and paste this closing curly braces so let's close this curly braces over here and let me remove this last comma in Python and if you are using a Linux or Mac OS kind of a operating system or any Unix system. So make sure instead of this Python, make it Python 3. If you are using a Python 3 interpreter in your VS code and let's save this setting control S keyboard shortcut in Windows and command as keyboard shortcut in Mac OS. So now we have saved this particular setting. Now let's go back in my functions.py file and let's run this file again. I got a pretty good output and if you will see now I have a pretty good separators also in my all the execution when I ran all of these codes 
but I don't want to again have my all the previous outputs. So to resolve that problem, again go ahead in my code runner extension over here and again go down in the settings and you'll find this setting code runner clear previous output copy the setting again go to my settings.json file make it comma after over here paste over here and make it false to true because that's my default setting so other go ahead on the left hand side on this option make it true save and retry yep. and con command and s and control and s make sure you save this particular file correctly so now when you will go back in your python file function.py file so let me run my code again so now you will notice that my all the previous output has cleared so let me run this code again again not a problem so let me go to my other file execution.py let me run the code it has asked me a input so let me give a input because there is a input function so write a input but do you see that's a problem so that's where a kind of a limitation if you have a input function in your python code so if you have a input python code so first let me go and stop run this code always done a code in terminal make a right click and run python file in terminal and then provide a output 3 so it will run correctly if in case you have a input function so that's a caveat in the code runner extension so if you have a input function in your code don't run your uh, function through this code runner extension then always through your terminal so make sure you right click and run python file in terminal so that will give you a correct output let me type it yeah so let me kill it yeah let me so now we know where you might face a problem when you have a code runner extension and what's the solution also for that and to then the shortcut to run this particular uh, vs code uh, action like through this uh, this option control alt n in windows and command option n in mac os but again even despite of doing all of these things suppose your co code does not run so again so that might be an issue in your python path so for that again go to your code runner extension down so yeah so you will find these support customized parameters so first type python path interpreter interpreter path so instead of this python 3 you can write your interpreter path make dash u and then again space and then let me go back to my this code runner and then your full file name copy this one let me go over here paste it and then save it and let me run my python file again so it ran successfully so now i hope we have done a pretty good setup for our code runner co extension but there are some more things which i'll tell you uh, like for, for us even where we'll improve our settings and keyboard shortcut for all of these extension so make sure you subscribe this channel and keep following all of these videos so there are a lot of new videos are coming in this channel for vs code